I love you. My whole f***ing heart and all my body and whatever ineffable spirit animates me. Everything. Nicholas, let's get into Peter's death because historically speaking, we know that he dies significantly earlier than Catherine, but were you surprised, A, that he dies so early in the season and B, in that manner, just like falling through ice? Oh, Tony had prepared me for the fact that, of when he was going to die and, and stuff, so I wasn't shocked by by how. But there had been rumors, I guess, circulating exactly about how he would die for a while. I think, Elle, you knew before I did, right? I think I knew in season two. I didn't know for sure, but I had heard the ice idea. Right. So I knew it was coming, but not exactly how. But it was actually just the scene beforehand that I thought was just so beautifully written and perfectly pitched and the kind of the culmination of all the time that these characters have spent together and their relationship and sums it up so perfectly where they're at in that moment. There are many versions of you. And you know I'm the only one who sees them all. Yes. And you know I love them all. I just ask the same of you. And particularly even just that brief moment just before Peter falls through the ice. I think it was just, it, it summed up Tony's writing perfectly that the last words that Peter says are, actually, I. Uh, actually, I. Oh, <laughs> And you're not quite sure <laughs> what that could have been or what he was thinking and where, where things would have gone had that that not taking place. So yeah, it was emotional to read it and emotional to film it and tough to say goodbye to the character, but pretty beautifully done, I think. For Elle, at the end of this season, we see her haircut and she's dancing around in her black dress to ACDC. And knowing that Peter has died and we saw her kind of go off the rails for a little bit, but kind of pull herself back together. How do you think his death will continue to impact her moving forward? Because obviously she has conflicted feelings. For sure. I mean, I think it's the most re important relationship in her life and that'll always be there. But I do think that in order for her to step into her power and truly be the leader that she feels in her heart is her destiny, Peter has to not be there. Like in some ways, they were both kind of holding each other back. As sad as it is, it had to happen. And I think finally she is almost reborn in that last scene and it's a new Catherine, and, but also a Catherine with weight and history. Like there's a past behind her. I think in the first season, she's a girl that doesn't look like she really has a past. She hasn't experienced much life yet. And at the end of season three, she's seen so much and lost so much. You have to experience those things to also be able to relate to your court and your people and have empathy in a different way. And I think that I'm hoping that she'll step into that leader we want her to be because she hasn't quite gotten there yet. Yeah, step into her greatness. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, did you know the music that you're going to be dancing to while filming that? I picked it, actually. Did you? I did, yes. I picked it because Tony wanted me to dance. I knew he wanted me to dance. And then I was thinking, I go home a lot after work and dance. But alone, um, like to like let off steam. And so I there's like certain songs I listen to, uh, like especially when like my adrenaline's high and it was like a good day or something or a bad day, whatever. Um, that's one of the songs. And so and I was thinking about the dance and like what I wanted it to be. And I just I love that song so much. And I also love the juxtaposition it brings to the show. You know, I mean, we are obviously we always have a little needle drop at the end. So that was our needle drop. And then I think the credits are silent. That was a choice, yeah. um, which was, uh, which was my karaoke one. song, by the way. Um, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. That's a good one. Yeah.